All right, YouTube, make sure you subscribe. The highlights for today, it's the last day of the week, Friday. It's Unemployment Friday. A couple things when you got a big number. Know where the hell you are right before this big news comes out, whether it's scheduled or unscheduled. In this case, 7.30 Central every first Friday of the month, we get the unemployment report. A couple things you had to know going in. Number one, that ADP 48 hours prior came in with a real bullish print. 291,000 versus like 165 expe uh, expected, almost doubled it. Huge miss. You know, huge miss, and it's all to the upside, biggest upside print in like five years. All right, that's number one. So a little precursor files down, maybe an upside surprise, isn't as much of an upside surprise in this non-farm payroll number, which was expected about 170,000. We get a print of 225,000. Wow, that's bullish. That's great. That's above the range of expectations. But remember what I said, it's kind of baked in. Also, the unemployment rate went up a tenth. Not a lot, not a scare, but 3.5 to 3.6 is technically higher unemployment rate, worse for the economy, worse for stocks. So take that into consideration. Keep an eye on where you are. I'm going to replay this screen. Look at the right side. We're right around 39.40 even, right before this number comes out. You already are prepared to know what to do. There's the pop, five-point pop. Comes into some resistance that we had, this red resistance in here. This is the beginning, or 7.30 Central. We get the pop, the 2.25 print, the 3.6 print in the rate. It doesn't take long at all, within a minute or two, to come right back to where we started, the 39.40 even area, right in here. It's no coincidence it uses it as, as support for a few rotations. And once it gets through it, there's no coincidence that it gets weak. Something I remember the guy worked at the uh, prop firm 20 years ago. If it's a strong number and it's an important number and it comes in with a big miss and the market does what it's supposed to do and then within a few minutes it comes all the way back, takes back all the strength and then some, how strong is the market? It's a way to give yourself a head scratch moment, a clue, a tell that the market might have some pressure or might be under some pressure. And the reasons for it, number one, ADP priced in a big miss. Number two, why could there be weakness? Because again, it comes right back through right in here where it started. If you watch any of my stuff and any of my videos, people understand and know we call it ground zero. Always keeping an eye or paying attention to where the price is, the market that you're trading. When some news event comes out, whether it's a surprise headline or whether it's a scheduled economic report, especially bigger ones like the unemployment report or ISM, consumer confidence, it's manufacturing data. This has always been the biggest number of the month. My whole career, 25 years in this business from the floor to the screen, it's always been a, a, a number the market's always cared about, watched, and got more most volatile around. So there's no coincidence that the downside was the right side, and you could pick that apart in here instead of having to wait to down in here. I got four kids, and all of them would tell me when it was down in here, the market was weak, too late. They'd sell it down in here and go cry to mommy when they take five points of heat and then have it go all the way back down like it was supposed to. They won't, they won't get out. They probably try to sell more and more and more and then go to cry to mommy when they had to get um, taken out. They can't get out of losers, but they're kids. So don't act like one. We all want to and, and resort back to weaknesses and path to least resistance. It's okay to be wrong. It's not okay to stay wrong. It's not okay to add to those losers. But if you can get yourself bearish for a good reason in there, whether you get yourself short or not, at least you're on the right side of the market and look for playing it on that side, not having to wait to say, hey, this market's weak. That's more obvious. It's not when you're up here with good reasons, ground zero, where a market's price was before a big event came out to change it. It was supposed to rally it. It did, but it came back within a couple minutes and then even went lower. How strong is a market when it can't rally and it's supposed to?